Welcome back to Sparking Zero. This time, Piccolo. Huh. Shall we commence? I don't know if anyone's watching the stream, but if not, that's fine. I'm just gonna have fun. You gotta make me speak again. I hate this. Oh. Alright, fine. The violent struggle with the Raditz came to an end, but Piccolo hears news that more powerful Saiyans will arrive in one year. Having witnessed the latent power lurking within Gohan, he decides to take the boy and train him for the coming battle. For six months, he leaves him in the wilderness to fend for himself, watching his progress from a distance. Six months pass, and Gohan is still alive. Piccolo appears before him again, intent on training the boy. You've improved quite a bit, but you still haven't become a true fighter. The real training starts now. Why can't you guys voice everything? Lazy. Behind you! Dodge. I see what they mean by the still images. I couldn't see you. You were moving too fast. I hate your voice. Your eyes will lie. Try to feel it. I miss the old voice. But I, I did feel it. That's the problem. That, okay. From now on, whenever you're not eating or sleeping, you're fighting with me. No, no way! I'll die for sure! Then get stronger! Stronger than me! Stronger than the Saiyans will be here in six months! Oh, that's another move I remember. I remember that! Do I let him This is nothing to me. Man. Okay, whatever. Oh, Lord, it's a bug. Interesting. Efficiency. Well, it seemed that the last six months have wrung the crybaby out of you, at least. <laughs> yeah, but my dad used to tell me, he said, ever since you were reborn, you're not nearly as bad as you used to be. He said, now you're more grumpy than evil. <laughs> I don't know, I think he was kind of right. But, I mean, my mom is still totally scared of you and all. Stop blabbering and go to sleep. If you think today's training was hard, wait till you get a load of what I got in store for you tomorrow! Um, yes, sir. Impudent little brat. <laughs> the two Saiyans, Vita and F, arrive early, earlier than expected on Earth. Piccolo, Gohan, and the others face off with the, this alien threat. Goku is alive again, but the fight cannot wait for him to arrive. At first, Piccolo and the others put up a good show against Nappa C Cybermen. But they are unable to, to leave so much of a scratch on the Saiyans. Nappa stepped up to the fight, brimming with confidence. <laughs> Don't worry. This will be over real soon. <laughs> Okay, well, I was just playing around. But I gotta get some. Yeah. 
I don't know if it's Kakarot, but something is on the way. And whatever it is, its power level exceeds 5,000. Tough. Can I get that winning streak thing today? Nappa! Enough! Playtime is over! Eliminate them, now! We can't risk having all four team up on us. No! Piccolo! Let me! You just get out of there! And I'll find a way to keep this guy busy while we wait for Dad! <laughs> now what kind of nonsense is that? Do you expect me to let you go head to head with this oaf all on your own? Keep me busy, huh? <laughs> if that's what the brat wants, let's go! Damn it! <laughs> What? Now! Now you're through! Die! <laughs> what is this? Why... Why did you do that? Just run, Gohan! Before it's... Piccolo on the verge of death shares a few final words with Gohan. Gohan. You're the only person I've ever known who didn't treat me like a monster. Piccolo, no! Just hold on! Please don't die! <clears throat> thank, thank you, Gohan. With Piccolo's death, Kami, who was part of him, dies as well. Is there any like oh yeah there probably was. Oh well. The name of Let's not waste any time. Piccolo is returned to life by the power of the Dragon Balls and arrives on the planet Namek, his home world. Piccolo meets Nail, a Namekian warrior on the verge of death, and obtains astonishing power by fusing with him. If I'd known that merging with another being could result in this kind of power, I'd have sought it out years ago. Having received a mighty power up, Piccolo hurries to the aid of Gohan and Krillin. It's Piccolo! Sorry to keep you waiting. So that's Frieza. I see. He's even more hideous than I imagined. Yet another Namekian who escaped my attention. This one is far more imposing than the others. No matter, he will soon join the rest of his kind in oblivion. You're a slippery one! But who are you?
This will stop you! Explosive demon wave! Now I will have vengeance in the name of all the Namekians you slaughtered! Take this! Take this! It's over! Dodge this! It's over! You scum should consider this in honor! You will be the first ones to ever lay eyes upon me in this next state! Prepare yourself and behold! What do you think was it worth the wait? Now. If you're ready, let's begin round two, shall we? This may steal me. This will stop you! Explosive demon wave! Over here. Over here. Hey, three. More stuff. Go on, joins the fray with Piccolo, pushing Frieza to transform even further. The overwhelming strength of Frieza now in his final form is almost too much for Piccolo and Vegeta. Goku then joins the battle fully healed and takes the fight to Frieza. But even Goku's strength is no much for Frieza and they gradually start to lose ground. Damn it! I'm in real trouble now! What happened to all that energy you had a moment ago? Is that tiny reservoir of strength all dried up now? I can't take this anymore! Dad needs our help! I'm going in! Wait a minute! I think he's got something up his sleeve. A spirit bomb! Huh? A spirit bomb? Is that what I think it is? I've never seen a mass of energy that size. Frieza's wise to Goku's ploy. You two, listen up. Whatever happens, I forbid you to interfere in any way! Farewell! Hurry, finish that spirit bomb before he comes back! Th thanks Piccolo! How is that Namekian still drawing breath? I thought they'd all been taken care of! I hate to rush you, but something tells me Frieza's losing his patience. Hurry, launch it now! No! Not yet! Just a little bit longer! I miss it on all sides by sneaking parasitic flies! This is more than I can stand! <laughs> nice. With what little they had left, they put it to good use. Okay, it's finally ready! Do it! <laughs> what have you done? Frieza takes a direct hit from the spirit bomb and appears to be blown away. However, Frieza manages to survive. Frieza's attack then defeats Piccolo and Krillin. However, Krillin has been killed once again. 
Seeing his friend killed before his very eyes, Coco explodes with rage and turns into a legendary Super Saiyan. With his newfound overwhelming strength, Goku easily defeats Frieza. As Frieza and Goku fight, Piccolo and the others are transported to Earth via the Dragon Balls. They are overjoyed to hear of Goku's victory over Frieza via King Kai. That was a short one. Oh, I got Nail. Sweet. Ah, Android. Yes. Let's not waste any time. The mysterious youth Trunks, a visitor from the future. He tells of a pair of androids who will appear in three years' time that will kill Piccolo and the others. In order to avoid that terrible future, Piccolo, Go Goku, and Gohan all begin t training even harder. And then, three years later, just as Trunks warned, the androids appear in the city. So these are the fearsome androids, huh? Not quite the monsters I'd imagined. Piccolo and the others stop up. Step up to prevent the destruction of the city while Goku faces off against Android 19. Huh? Go on, you see it too, right? Yeah, right. It seems his technique is rushed for some reason. Fights just started and Goku's wasting most of his power. That and his technique is sloppy. What? This is a what if scenario? Well, we will do the what ifs at another time. This is just the story. He's usually not this sloppy. I'll do another video of the what ifs as the last Coupe de Gras. If he was fighting at his full capability, this android would already be a pile of scrap. As the fight continues, the heart virus takes hold of Goku, and Goku is greatly impacted. Piccolo and the others attempt to save Goku, but Android 20 stands in their way. The crisis is averted by the unlikely savior, Vegeta. Vegeta uses his overwhelming strength to smash Android 19 to pieces, however, Android 20 manages to get away. And then, as they search for him, Android 20 manages to get the jump on Piccolo. Battle time, battle time. <laughs> or not. <laughs> No calling your comrades now. Your energy will be all mine. G Go on, jump to me quickly. The android is. Yes, you're almost completely sapped of power. In a few more seconds, you'll be dead. What? There's no way he could have found us so quickly. Vegeta, back off! He's mine! This'll stop you! Don't interfere, he says. <laughs> Excellent! He's handing me another opportunity to absorb his strength. And the second I do... What are you whimpering about over there, huh? <laughs> Prepare your It's over. Am I killing him too fast? Oh, well, that probably missed. Let's do this. Over here. Over here. Come meet your doom. Here I come. Over here. It's over. It's over. 
I didn't want to do that again, but okay. You stop running away. Pickle proves himself stronger than Android 20, but the android finds an, op op an opening to escape. It then comes to light that Android 20 is actually Dr. Zoro, the Red Ribbon Army scientist. Having escaped, Dr. Zoro awakens Android 17 and the others. Pickles and the others are powerless in the face of this new threat. The androids lose interest in Piccolo and go looking for Goku. Sensing a, a need for a greater strength, Piccolo powers up by merging with Kami. At that time, a strange monster appears on the Earth. Pico heads towards the creature, sensing a terrible energy emanating from it. Immensely from it. Alright. Now, you tell better. me what kind of creature you are. Make it quick. Talk or else. I try to make a habit of not talking to Who took the full brunt of that? One, two, three, four. Get from behind. <laughs> you sit down. <laughs> Before you add me to your collection, you are at least going to tell me this. What sort of abomination are you? My name is Cell. I am an android. I was created by the computer in Dr. Giraud's secret laboratory. That lunatic again, huh? Years ago, Dr. Giro began collecting cell samples from the world's greatest fighters, hoping to synthesize their DNA and create the ultimate android. However, I cannot become truly perfect until I have absorbed two highly specialized life forms. And what sort of specialized life forms are you talking about? The ones I need are two of Dr. Giro's other creations, Android 17 and 18. And once I achieve my perfect form, I will be invincible! The greatest power the universe has ever known! Alright. I've heard plenty. Game's That's fun. everything I need to know. You... you tricked me! It was all a ploy to get me to talk! Yep. Now that I know what you are, I know how to stop you. Piccolo pushes to end the fight, but Cell uses Solar Flare and escapes. While Goku and Vegeta are training in the Hyperbolic Time Chamber, the androids arrive at Kami House looking for Goku. As their questions about Goku's whereabouts pose the risk of turning to violence, Piccolo takes him to a barren island and prepares to fight. Well, here I am. Go ahead, show me what you've got. What? What? <laughs> You're finished! What? 
Looks like you're all out of moves, Android. Nice try, but still not enough. <laughs> you wait, I'm still just getting started. Don't expect me to go easy on you this time. This is nothing to me! Over here! Now who is this freak? Yes, one, you, there they are. A feast for the eyes. The two androids that I will absorb to complete my design and realize my perfect form. Not so fast. Your fight is with me! Seventeen, go! Get away from him! Bye-bye. Damn it. Three. Getting closer to level 18. Perfect sale. You skip both orange. <laughs> Piccolo is un unable to stop sale. Who absorbs both Android 17 and 18, achieving his perfect form. Having achieved his perfect form, Cell proposes the Cell Games, a place for any who wish to challenge him to meet their fate. Piccolo joins his friends in training for the Cell Games. Time passes quickly, and the day of the Cell Games soon arrive. Goku goes first, followed by Gohan. Piccolo watches Gohan in combat. Uh, is that... Gohan? The anger at the pain inflicted on his friends causes Gohan to awaken to a vast reserve of power, completely overwhelming Cell. I'm still waiting for another hard fight. Cell resorts to self-destruction, costing Goku his life, but after a desperate struggle, Gohan finally eradicates Cell. Piccolo sees how much Gohan has grown, how far he has come, and is pleased. Ah! Now, 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 he did things in, in the Tournament of Power, are we just skipping that? Are we just skipping the Tournament of Power? We are. We're skipping the Tournament of Power. Cell versus the other two Lumekians never happened in this, this apparently. Huh. Well, that's... Looks like he has a what-if if I beat it faster, but that's for another one. Next time!